all go on my viewers and subscribers, Zan here. I hope everybody is in good spirit and staying safe. What if I tell you that soloing is way easier than playing cards and progressions? Would you believe me? No, you wouldn't. See, the most powerful piece of music we all learned since kindergarten. That piece of music is our Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. See, these are all notes. And all these notes come together and create a scale. Scales in traditional Western music generally consist of seven notes and repeats at the octave. Let's look at it this way. It's like the language you speak. You got letters and letters leads to words. Words lead to sentences or paragraphs or whatever. All right, it's the same thing with music. You got notes and notes comes together, create skills. And within that skill, you can start creating cards and from cards, card progressions. And this is why you should learn your skills. Learn your skills. <sighs> Let's jump to the guitar. <laughs> So that little piece of soda that I did just now, I did not plan, right? Would you like to know how to play? Do you really want to know how to do that, you know? Do you want to be able to just grab the guitar and jam with any band? You need to follow my steps, right? I am going to show you guys two easy and basic ways how to do that, to do what I just did. Right? But first, guys, you need to listen and you need to follow. All right? Scales are very important. Do not jump the gun, my people. Scales are very important. All right? Now, in order for you to do this, we are going to work with a simple scale, our major scale. Right? I'm going to help you to understand the major scale and also the relative minor all right so let's not think too much about theory or the big words or anything like that just pay attention to what i'm doing and just follow all right we're going to be working with the key of c c major all right now we're going to come all the way up here to the eighth fret remember guys i'm going to take you through this door you know where Whenever you take your guitar up, you can impress people, you can impress anyone. This can happen overnight. Overnight, I am telling you, you can learn to solo right now. All right, so stick with me. Stick with me. Here we go. So, all the way up to the 8th fret. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so you're going to... Here's a scale. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it slow for you guys. So, here we go. That's your C major, all right? It's here whenever I play that card, everything just connects, right? Now, remember, in this scale, in all those notes that I play, every note represents a card, all right? So if you're in the key of C major, right? If you're in the key of C major, you can simply play a certain scale over the, the progression, all right whatever 
key if the if the song is in the key of C there's a certain scale that you play and you can just play that without even thinking and that's you soloing all right like I said before you might not be able to shred the guitar you know but you will be able to start soloing you 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 you, you are you know getting through that first door all right the rest is up to you see I can only show you I can only show you the door but are you going to walk through it? Do you want to impress some people? All right. Do you want to take your plane to another level? Of course you do. So here we go. So now I showed you that. Now there's also an extension to it. Pay attention. Stick with me. Here is the extension. Play back up. That is the extension. Now, what you are going to do is practice this as much as possible. Up and down, up and down. All right? And I promise you, you will be able to start soloing. All right? So, how do you apply this to your solo? Remember, right? Whenever you play, how you get that extension? Remember, there's, there are seven notes in music, right? The seven notes, right? When you get to that seven, so instead of saying do, re, mi, you are going to say one, two, three. And this is where the number system comes in. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then the eight will repeat. These two notes are the same. These are octaves, all right? It's still the one, which is why, why when you get here, it's the same thing. And this is the reason why people can start shredding the guitar all over because they know the scale. All right, you don't just get up and start soloing. You know, you understand your skill. All right, so C major, you can. And your speed depends on how well you know the guitar. All right, C major is C here, here right again. So you're going to. It's also here. Alright, so it's all over the neck. Wherever you find C, you can start your solo there. <laughs> you know, it's everywhere on the guitar. Once you know that you are in you are within the key. Alright, so now that's example number one. So let me show you how that works. Alright, so pay attention to this. Okay. Now this track is in the key of C, C major, right? I'm going to show you why the scales are very important. I'm going to play the C major scale over this track that is in the key of C. Alright? Pay attention. Nothing fancy. I'm going to play the scale just so you can understand. Here we go. <laughs> Again. That's all. 
Mas sa extension Example number one, very simple. See, there's no need to be lazy. You know what I mean? Learn your skills. And once you learn your skills, you know, you basically know everything. There's no reason for you not to be able to solo. Oh, I can play cards, but I can't solo. What do you mean you can't solo? Yes, you can. Right? If you can't, it, it simply means that from the beginning, you did something wrong. You started out wrong. All right? Notes makes up skills skills to cards from um, cards to card progression card progression you know what i mean skills notes so it's easier to start playing the note and within this this, this skill i just take the one the root the third and the fifth the one the two and the and the three out of it and that's your C major. That's the root of the third and the, third and the fifth. Okay, so that is it. So, there's no reason for you not to be playing your solos. That is example number one. Here is example number two. Here is the most common and most used one the pentatonic knowing your pentatonic skill this one is used by the greatest all right all the professionals use this one penta means five all right but let's not get too deep in the theory too much i want to show you and show you how it works and then after in another tutorial we can talk about all this theory stuff i want to get you guys to start having some fun on your guitar so in the key of c the key of c major has a relative what is a relative the relative is the sixth all right so it's the one two three four five six right it's the relative minor. The relative minor to C major is going to be A minor. All right, why? Because they have, they share the same note. Don't ask me, don't ask me. It's the rule of music, right? Whatever key you are in, the relative to it, the relative minor to it is the six. That is how you. That is how you find it. It's not hard. You start counting instead of do re mi. You do one, two, three, four, five, six. I remember the six is always a minor. The root, the fourth, and the fifth are all majors, right? And the second, the third, and the sixth are all minors. They are always gonna be minor cards. Okay, so don't worry about the seven, all right? You know, not much people use the seven anyway, unless you're playing jazz and everything. But pop, reggae, and all those, this stuff, we use the root, the third, the fifth, the sixth, all right? So, again, how to find that relative? You count C major, you're in the key of C, you do the C major scale again. So it always comes back to the scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. Sorry, my bad. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to the one, which is do. Or we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. So how do you play that pentatonic? All right. How do you find, how do you know which position to use? Let's use the most common used one. All right, so if you hear, all you want to do is count from that C, which is the eighth fret, you count one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, and then you play that A minor. A minor is right there. So again, C major is there. 
four steps back. This is your A minor pentatonic. All right. This is the A minor. All right. Okay, to form it, if you have a piece of paper, write this down. So you one, two, three, four, five. A minor, five, right? And it goes from both. So you're gonna count this as the one note. One, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. That is it. Now you want to practice that over and over, over and over and over. So if you're in the key of C major and you play the A minor pentatonic, you will not go wrong. You will always be in the key. You will always be in the key. Again, do you guys really want to learn how to solo? Do you want to start impressing some people? Stick with me. All right. So we're in the key of C. Here is the example. Remember, nothing too fancy. I'm just gonna play the scale. Okay? Here we go. Start doing some stuff like the band. What did I do that was so complicated? Nothing whatsoever. All right now guys this is why the skills are very important do not jump the gun learn your skills and once you learn your skills you i promise you i promise you you will be on your way to greatness all right the only thing that's left is how often you practice and we want to take your music what type of music you want to play what genre you can jump on the, on, on the stage and jam with any band all right so remember First, learn your major scale. I'll learn the extension to it. Now, once you learn that C major scale, remember that you can use whenever if the song is in the key of C and you are playing the C major scale, how are you going to go wrong? The only thing left is for you to start building some licks and start doing some fancy stuff for yourself. You start creating those for yourself. All right. So that was number one. And number two is just make sure you know the pentatonic scale like I showed you. So if you're in the key of C major, then you count four steps back. The relative. A minor. Alright, so A minor is the relative minor to C major. Okay, it doesn't matter if you are in the key of A major, you count four steps back. 
So A major, the relative to A major is going to be F sharp minor. And you continue that way. Another way to find um, the relative, if whatever key you are in, if you are in B flat major, you start counting one, two, three, four, five, six. Then it's going to be G minor. So B major, the relative to B major is G minor. You can start shredding right here. And also, once you do that, it can take you all the way back into the major scale. So you can mix the major scale with your relative minor, with the pentatonic. But I'll leave that for another tutorial. Alright? Bless you, man. And that, my friends, is how you solo using your major scale and your pentatonic scale. Now, I'm sure this tutorial was helpful. But also let me know, talk to me a little bit down there in the comment section. If you have a request, put it down there. Do not forget to like, comment, share. Most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. My name is Zion. Blessed love. See you next time with another tutorial.